Hello, this is a video for anybody that has a John Deere AMT 620, 622, or 626. And they came standard back then, or they may not have been standard back then. They, uh, they came with an optional uh, hydraulic lift for the body. But if you do not have a hydraulic lift, we wish they aren't available. Kits aren't available anymore, but here is one option that you could do using Ireton two actuators, uh, the seven inch actuators. They work very well with this. As you can see, I'm going to use my little switch button here and I'm going to lift the body up. The body is going up. You can see that by by watching the video how long it takes as the body goes up the actuators come into view I use dual actuators to give it a nice lift nice steady even lift I had to make the brackets as you can see there's the top brackets as you can see there's the bottom bracket I made the bottom bracket so they bolt right in to the existing holes on the frame. I had to turn the uh, actuators, one of them, the uh, right one, upside down, put a little extension on it so they both go up and down at the same, and so they fold up. The key is when they retract and fold up. This way, I use exactly the um, everything that was here. I did not alter the battery location or anything. Everything is OEM as you can see. The holes, I had to drill two additional holes to make the bracket centered as you can see. I used carriage bolts to give a nice solid tight fit. And as you see, I'm gonna zoom in to as you can see at the bottom brackets, how they are attached on the right one. Now on the left one, as you can see, they're attached to the frame and at the top the top you can see how they're attached and I made them just a little bit loose so you can stick a hairpin you want to be able to move some but this is this is an optional thing if you cannot gain a hydraulic kit or anything that you can use these actuators and for about uh, and also I use a, a existing salt I had a salt, uh, there was a salt spreader on here one time, a spreader. So I gutted the spreader, it's no longer in use. I used the, the wires that ran from the positive and negative battery up here. And I just used the, I took the switch out that was for the spreader and just installed the 30 amp toggle switch that you could purchase along with the IR10, um, with the IR10 actuators from Northern Equipment. And you also get the 30 amp toggle, uh, toggle switch that goes with that. And you should have a nice, kit and it, it you see the time going down how much time the cycling time is if you can view the seconds on the video you will see that as it closes how much time is taking and it one thing about it with, with not using the hydraulic system you don't have to worry about hydraulic leaks pumps and all that stuff going up that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Here's the, you can see the carriage bolts that I put in. It just firms the body up. The body gets firmed up a little bit. The carriage bolts that are in there. You have to countersink them a little bit. Drive them down. They'll drive down flush. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Bye.